so hello everyone welcome back to geeks for geeks today we'll be solving another problem of the day that is of saturday and its name is valid and ip address so as you can see that it is a medium level problem but its accuracy is level 30 percent that means there might be something interesting in this problem statement so let us now understand that so we are uh, it we are said that uh, we have to uh, write a program to validate an ip v4 address according to wikipedia ip v4 address are canonically represented in dot decimal notation which consists of four decimal numbers, each ranging from 0 to 255, separated by dots, example, 172.16.254.1. something like this, right? So basically it is saying that uh, we will be given an IPv4 address. So it is basically an address or, you know, uh, it, uh, it is a, a concept of net networking where we assign a networking address to each and every network, right? Or each and every device in a computer net or in a, in a networks, right? So, uh, the range of that IPv4 address is, uh, you know, that for each number, suppose as it is said that 172 dot this, right? So each number or each this, this representation before dot, right? So it is having a range from zero to 255, right? So that means any number can be occurred that is from ranging to zero to 255, right? So, uh, now our task is that we have to validate whether a given IP address to us is a valid one or not, right? So let, let us see what are the rules, right? So the generalized form of an IPv4 address is 0 to 255, like this up till four times, right? So as we discussed just now, here we are considering numbers only from 0 to 255 and any additional leading zeros will be considered invalid, right? So now our task is to complete the function is valid, which, which returns one if the IP address is valid, else returns zero the function takes a string s as its only argument, right? So it is saying that uh, initially we are given a string s, right? We are given a string s and that string s will be containing the IP address and we have to validate whether that IP address is a valid IP before address or not. So let us see with a sample test case here. Initially we are given triple two dot triple one dot triple one dot triple one, right? So it is in, it, it will be given us in the form of a string. So as we can see that there are four ranges or four segments I can say here that is one, two, three and four. So it is this part is correct, right? We have four segments, this part is correct. And that means this four segment can be uh, validated or cross checked if we have three dots here, right? And in these three dots or the in, in each segment, we should have numbers lying in the range from zero to 255. So as you can see that in each segment, the number is lying from zero to 255 only right here so it is a valid one but if you see here that there are only two, so for the, for the first of all error is that there are only two dots right or there are i can say only three segments that is one two and three so it is a invalid segment so let us now see how we can solve this problem statement right so and before that we have to check that we have to the expected time complexity out of what is out of us is o of n it is length of the string and we don't have need to use any extra space kind of thing. Okay, so let us try to submit it or like understand what we have to perform here. Okay, so consider that a given IP address to which is 222.101.217.32 kind of thing, right? So first of all, as I said that I will check first of all that whether they are four segments or not. Right, so how to check whether there are four segments? That is, we will check first of all three dots, right? Because if we are ensuring that there are three dots available in that string, that means that there will be four segments, right? So our first task is to check the number of segments, I can say here, the number of segments. Okay, so that will be done by checking, checking the number of dots available. Perfect. Now the second task is, since after checking that uh, there are three dots or four segments available, then we'll be checking each segment one by one. That is the string that will be formed, the string that will be formed before this dot, that is in this case, triple two. And before this dot, the string formed will be uh, one zero one, right? So we will check that for each segment, whether it is a valid one or a not, right? So the, the, the second task is that check whether, whether uh, our given segment, whether a segment is in the range or not is in range so what is our range range is from 0 to 255 so once these two tasks are done 
once these two tasks are done i will be able to ensure that it is my valid string or valid ipv4 address or not so let us now see <coughs> as you can see that it is a pretty much easy problem but the the hard part in it is that that this first task can be done easily right we can normally iterate the string and we will check whether whether there are three dots or not but the harder task is that that we have to check whether the segment is in the range or 0 to 255 or not right so let us now see how we will do that. so this is our entire working code so what is what we are doing here is that this is our function that is in that is is valid string right and we have maintained a counter here so the counter is for checking whether there are three dots or i can say that whether there are four segments or not so i can you know vice versa say that if there are four segments that means there will be three dots in between the string right so <coughs> for that i will be iterating my string and checking whether if s of i equal to equal to dot character that means i will increment my counter by one and after the iterating my string i will check whether the counter the count of the counter is equal is a uh, equal to three or not so if it is not equal to three that means if it is less than three or more than three that means it is not a valid ip before address hence i will return zero that means false now after that our first task is done now we have to check whether the given sub now after this after this line number 20 right after this one we are ensured that that given ip before address to us is containing four segments and now we have to check the four uh, the four segments whether they are lying in the range from 0 to 255 or not so for that we are storing an unordered set of string and why we are storing it uh, i will talk it just now right so we are basically iterating <coughs> the string or we are iterating the number that is 0 to 255 Right, because this is our range in which we have to check for each segment and as you can see that our given string the given input format or the ipv4 address is in a string format so what i can do either i can convert that <coughs> string into a number or I, what i can do i can pre i can you know beforehand store all the ranges that is all the numbers from 0 to 56 in the form of a string so that's what i am doing here i am explicitly converting my the the number in the ranges that is from 0 to 256 in the form of a string that is by using the stl function that is two string right that is two string and converting the numbers into a ranges right the number in the ranges in the form of a string and storing them into my unordered set st right so that's what i am doing here now again i will set my counter equal to zero now in this task here i will be checking that how many number of segments that i am having are having the range in the in the given uh, specified and that is in the range from 0 to 255 right so for that i will be iterating my string again and whenever i will be encountering a dot right so as i said here that whenever i will be encountering a dot i will check the string found before that dot that is in this case triple two and suppose in the next time i encounter by this dot right so i will my new string found will be 101 so i will check whether that 101 is available in my set here in which i stored all the ranges in the form of string right so that's what i am doing here if my s of i that is the correct character the current character of my string is a dot or is suppose is if it is not a dot that means i have to add that particular character in my string right suppose if i am starting from this point right this two so it is not a dot right so it will be added in my temporary string let us say so it will be added here too again i'll move here 2 will be added 2 will be added now if i face here this dot if i face this dot then i will check at this point at this point that whether my this formed string is available in my current set of strings or the ranges that i have made here right so i will check so yeah so that's the point here that's what we are doing here if my sfi not equal to dot then i will add that character in my temporary string else if it is a dot that means i will check that if set dot count temp not equal to zero right so that means this count function will tell the occurrence or no or the availability of that temperature or that temp temp variable in our set st so if it, it so if it is if it is not equal to zero that means it is available right that temp string form is available in the set of ranges we formed here then i will increment by counter by one right and again i will initialize my temp string as null or you know empty because again i have to check for this string so if i am encountered here this dot then i will again reset my 
this temporary string and then again I'll start storing 101 and when the next decimal or this dot is occurred then I will again check for in my set of ranges that is this one so that is the use of this another set right uh, set in which we store the ranges in the form of a string so now yeah, as you can see that if it is a valid IPv4 address that means there must be four ranges right one two three and four right so at the end we will check if my counter equal to equal to four that means I have four segments that means it is a valid IPv4 address as it is a not one more thing here is that why I am checking here explicitly here because you can see that I was checking whether it is a valid IPv4 whether it is a valid segment in the given range or not once I encounter a dot once I face or encounter a dot here right but what for this last segment this for this suppose it is a valid one my counter is one here, right my counter is set to one here again it is incremented two here three here now but for this one at the end there is no dot right so for that I have to check after the loop whether the string formed it is a this entire string 32 formed is a valid one or not so for the last segment here there is there is no dot so I cannot check within with, with the help of this condition so explicitly I have to check after the loop right so this is the part and now this is the entire code guys so it just seemed to be a very harder problem right because it, it is a problem of implementation of string so it, it became a harder problem because <coughs> we had to somehow manage to, to how to check whether the current segment is lying in the given range or not so this is the entire code guys I hope that you have enjoyed and understood this problem statement completely and today's problem of the day so guys stay tuned to practice for more such informative videos and for more such uh, as usual problem of the day stay tuned to gfg happy coding stay safe bye bye